Information 2022. I'm Jeff Hansel with the Belmont Media Center, and with us is the town clerk of the town of Belmont, Ellen O'Brien Cushman. Hello, Ellen. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? Thanks for having me. You bet. Well, we're here today to give all Belmont residents the information they need to be able to vote on November the 8th. And speaking of November the 8th, what are the hours for voting on that day? So on election day exclusively, the uh, hours at the polls run from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. at each of our polling locations. And I think you're kind enough to show that to folks. We have seven locations and eight precincts. All right. And let's say people forget, can they call the town clerk's office and find out where their polling location is? They sure can. It's our, our phone number. I'm sure you'll broadcast it on the bottom of the screen, but it's 617-993-2603. Or they can always check all the hours and information, application, deadlines, all that that we're going to be talking about today, as well as any other questions they have about voting at the town's website, which is belmont-ma.gov, and look under the town clerk, or there's also a banner right at the top. Great. Okay. So a couple of dates that we want to remind people of, and people may be watching this up to election day but first off when's the voter registration deadline voter registration deadline is october 29th which is fast approaching it's uh, about 10 days away from today when we're um okay speaking so if you're seeing this after the 29th it's too late so yeah. go to luck. it right now well you're out uh, of luck unless of course you are registered to vote already somewhere else in massachusetts and you've moved within six months then you're allowed by law to return to your former place to vote so you should always check your voter registration information. And the state has made a really nice uh, dashboard available to people. It's called uh, voteinma.com. And you can make lots of different selections to check your uh, voting place, whether you're registered to vote, whether you're active, inactive, uh, whether your vote, uh, early vote, for example, has even been accepted. Okay, great. And um, the uh let's see early vote by mail there's a deadline for that to apply for that what's that deadline that's right and that's coming up on november 1st it's actually for all early voting by mail as well as absentee voting it's okay. uh, november 1st at 5 p.m and it is a hard deadline okay and what once you apply you can then what do you what can you do with that ballot you can both send it in by mail and or drop it off before the election day is that right so so for vote by mail that's exactly right you must apply for vote by mail ahead of time we must mail you a ballot it's not something that you can just walk out with and you can drop it into our drop box on the way back anytime 24 hours a day it's available we're constantly monitoring it it's right at the base of town hall uh, stairs or you can uh, use the post office to drop it to us. And they are coming every day. We're very conscious of uh, of our relationship with the post office. And what's the, if they if they send it in by mail, mm -hmm. when does it have to be postmarked to be counted? So it really, uh, if you kind of think about what the election means is, you know, you, you we only want to receive ballots of people who have voted during the period of polling hours or up until the polls close, right? You don't think that people who should be watching TV later on at night could just sit down and mark a ballot. So keeping that in mind, if you drop your ballot to the drop box by eight o'clock that night, I will be outside and I will be collecting those ballots and they will be counted. Um, and uh, if you came at 8.05, it won't be counted. So the okay. same thing sort of applies in terms of uh, mail. You must have a postmark on it. It has to be mailed by uh, the 8th. And um, they close a business at 8 o'clock on the 8th. And most post offices aren't open after that. But um, And then if by chance you've done that, it does need to reach me by the 12th at 5 o'clock. Okay. Uh, okay. And that's eligible only for mail ballots. The in-hand, okay. hand-in drop box ballots have to arrive by 8 p.m. close of polls on election night, November 8th. So if you decide to vote by mail, just remember, you can both send the ballot in by mail or drop it off early by election day. So you That's have right. two choices. Using there. the drop box or come right into the office if you're insecure. Okay. And no um, what's on the ballot in brief? Uh, besides the, we'll, we'll talk about the ballot questions, but um, people are voting in the state election primarily. They are, yes. Yeah, this is the center of the general election for the state. The offices that many of us have been watching on television uh, for governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general, secretary of state, treasurer, auditor, representative in Congress, 
counselor, senator in general court, rep in general court, and district attorney and sheriff. So it covers for Belmont particularly, it covers um, all state offices, district offices, and county offices. Okay, great. Um, not the, and obviously it's not the town elections, which, which occur in April, just in That's case correct. people are a little bit confused about that. Yeah. And then there are six ballot questions. And let's start with the first of uh, four. How can people find out about the first three questions? Let's start there. That's a great question. So uh, the state has an obligation, the Secretary of State's office has an obligation to mail to every registered voter, uh, and they have done that already, um, a information for voters guide, the 20, 2022 ballot question guide. Unfortunately, that this year in 2022 only covers questions one through three, because okay. uh, the deadline to go to the printer, I guess, um, the question four um, activity did not make that. So question four, a lot of people don't even know that's going to be on the ballot. So um, we have mailed to every household in Belmont through our electric light um, service. We're very grateful for that. Um, an insert that describes, and I think you'll be showing it on screen, mm -hmm. uh, a, a list of all the ways that people can vote in this election. And on the back of that, uh, it describes the ballot itself, those offices that I just read, as well as resources where people can find information about all those ballot questions, numbers one through four, the state ones. Uh, the state uh, election ballot question number four relates to uh, whether we, we will be repealing a law that was passed regarding Massachusetts driver's licenses. Um, it was passed by the legislature, and there was a movement by citizens to create a referendum question, which is question four. Okay. And so unfortunately, that's not in the book, but there is information online, and I give the uh, the place to find that. Uh, okay, on that great. Seat. So and it's on our website as well. All right. So if you don't have the uh, mailer, uh, yep. you can go to a couple of websites to find find that you can always drop by the town clerk's office also and probably right. get that information i would imagine yeah. mm -hmm. now let's talk about the two local ballot questions and is that is that the right language they're local ballot questions that's right? right that's okay. exactly right um uh let's just for people's uh information can you read what those questions are i sure can so these are considered uh, proposition two and a half debt exclusion questions. There is no title on the ballot. It's not allowed. So um, there is not an intent to mislead. We are, the language of the question is exactly what is permitted by state law um, under the Department of Revenue. So for question five, um, which regards the Belmont Public Library, shall the town of Belmont be allowed to exempt from the proposition the propos provisions of Proposition 2 and 1 half, so-called, the amounts required to pay for the bonds issued in order to pay for costs of designing, demolishing, constructing, originally equipping, and furnishing the Belmont Public Library located at 336 Concord Avenue in Belmont and all costs incidental and related thereto. And you'll notice there is no dollar figure in there. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, on question six, which is related to the municipal skating rink project, shall the town of Belmont be allowed to exempt from the provisions of proposition two and one half so called the amounts required to pay for the bonds issued in order to pay for costs of designing, demolishing, constructing, originally equipping and furnishing the Belmont ice skating rink located at 345 Concord Avenue in Belmont and all costs incidental or related thereto. So again, that those are each debt exclusion questions, which allows the town to lift the debt um, and the the tax rate based on Proposition Two and a Half uh, limits okay. for two specific projects. And okay. If either of those passes, that um, that question will be put to town meeting to appropriate a sum of money in order okay. to accomplish the project. And the right. town meeting is scheduled for the end of November. So that would come right up. Um, Correct. Okay. And let me just point out to folks, if you want more information about um, any of the, either the local ballot questions um, or even some candidates uh, on the statewide basis, you can actually go to the Belmont Media website and look for campaign 2022 playlist. And there's um, a good amount of videos there that give more exp explanation to both uh, ballot questions and um, some candidate information. 
That's belmontmedia.org slash campaign 2022. Um, so, Jeff, I have two more things I'd like to yes. talk about if you're if they're not Go on right the ahead. list or either way. So um, uh, we have not spoken about early vote by mail. I'm sorry, we have spoken about early vote by mail, but we haven't spoken about early voting in person. And Very that good. is about to begin on October 22nd, this Saturday. There are hours both Saturdays, the 22nd and 29th, uh, from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. each of those days. And then uh, they run through the weekday in our normal uh, office hours, our regular office hours. So we do have late hours on Monday evenings, and uh, early voting will be available through 7 o'clock, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Those Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's 8 to 4, and then Friday, it's only 8 to noon ending the in-person voting at November 4th at noon. So okay. that's uh, first, and there is no application in advance, no appointments necessary, you just walk in. Uh, and we do ask people to try to be prepared to vote when they come, having done their research or they are allowed to bring in a cheat sheet if they're not sure what, how they wanna vote on each of the six questions. It's sort of important to know that before you get there because we really don't want people to be struggling and trying to figure out how to get information once they're in the polling place because our poll workers cannot uh, really assist okay. with that information. So we only can provide limited amounts of information. So if you're gonna come in, vote early uh, at the town clerk's office at town hall, be prepared. And the, the deadline again for that is the Friday before the election day. Is That's that right? Correct. It ends okay. at 12 o'clock promptly, the day before Not the November 4th. Friday before so, the election on so November 4th. No voting on the Monday before election day. I know that uh, right. every year I see your staff getting ready for right. uh, election day. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then my other there are two points, one point and then one thank you, if you don't mind, uh, that two voters, this is a long two sided ballot. So, most of the information and that all of the candidates are included on the front side along with one question and all the other questions are on the back side of the ballot. All of our election workers are instructed and we have signs up telling people that it is a two sided ballot, but it is important for people to know uh, because we have had people call us later and say, I didn't even see question five or four or three, whatever. And uh, it's because they weren't paying attention to the other side. So, so look uh, on both sure sides of your ballot. Sort of aware of that, both, both sides of the ballot. And then lastly, uh, I have to put a big shout out to all of our election workers. There are nearly a hundred of them that make this election possible. And uh, it's difficult, especially in a election where there are some local questions or, um, and sometimes when there's a real heated local race as well, it's difficult to get uh, election workers who um, have not necessarily taken full sort of public positions on things. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we really appreciate all that they do. They work long, hard days and they take a lot of training in order to be prepared to run the election election for us. And uh, they represent the best of Belmont. And I, I'm really grateful for that. So anybody who's interested in becoming an election worker in the future, uh, we do have an application on our, our website if you're interested, maybe for April. Great. I know having been an election judge myself years past, uh, it's a it's an interesting way. And you, you feel good about uh, serving the community that way, knowing that Right. You know, helping the election to happen. So yeah, and elections are a bit under siege at the moment and election officials particularly were a little bit under siege and uh, anything we can do to have people really appreciate how much effort it takes for those yeah. people to run a fair um, and even election where everybody gets to vote who is entitled to vote um, is important and every vote that qualifies gets counted. So great. Well, I think we've covered everything and we'll rerun some of the information at the end of this Perfect. little spot. But um, thank you very much, Ellen, for providing the Belmont voter information for 2022. And uh, remember to vote by November the 8th. Thanks thank for you. having me.